How to Import Jenkins Jobs. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.452.3. Now, there may be times where you want to import jobs into your controller. We're going to do that using the Jenkins CLI. If you've never used the Jenkins CLI before, there is a link to another video down in the description that teaches you how to use the Jenkins CLI. Now that you know how to use the Jenkins CLI, let's go and see what commands we're going to run in order to load this job. Now, in a previous video, I exported a job from a controller. I'm going to take that exported job and I'm going to import it into this controller. So to figure out which command that we need to run, let's go ahead and go over into Manage Jenkins. We'll go down to Jenkins CLI and we're going to look for Create Job. And what this allows us to do is we can create a new job by reading standard in as a configuration XML file. Now, if we go ahead and go take a look at the job that we exported from a previous controller, what we're going to see, if we go ahead and type less test dash job XML, what we're going to see here is the job definition for a pipeline job that we exported from a different controller that we're now going to import into this controller. So again, taking a look at the definition, we're going to say Java dash jar, create job and give it the name, but we're going to be redirecting in a file from the file system to create the job. So if we go ahead and go back up to the top of our controller, we can see that we do not have any jobs defined on this controller. Let's go and go back over to our shell. We'll paste in the command java dash jar Jenkins CLI dot jar create job test job. So we're going to go ahead and create the job name on the command line here, test dash job, and then we're going to be redirecting in test dash job dot XML. Let's go ahead and run this. And if we go ahead and go back over into our controller, let's refresh the page. Then we're going to see test job has been created on our controller. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.